So basically at this point, what I need to do is make three of these. I can look at this and tell that it's about, I don't know, two inches by two inches square. Yeah, two and a half, two and a half by two and a half. So I'm gonna make three of these identical. And the way I'm gonna do this is I am going to cut chipboard. Uh, since I said this is two and a half by two and a half, I'm gonna cut three squares that are three by three. And those will be what I do to make the, um, the three towers. Now, normally I would probably show you all three being made, but since I'm gonna make them identical, I'm just gonna make one for purposes of this video. And then uh, you'll, you'll know how to make two more if you wanna kinda duplicate this. Let me get my blade out. And again, apologies for the lack of editing here. The purposes of this series of videos is to basically show you as much as I can. So I will narrate where I can and not, um, not try, to, try not to cut too much out from the videos. All right, so there we go. So I need to make three three by threes. So I will just mark these. Three, six, nine. And they don't have to be exact. As a matter of fact, you don't want them exact because, you know, this is a goblin thing. There's supposed to be a little imperfection in everything that they make. So if you end up trying to make things too perfect, it will backfire and it will look too good. And I'm cutting a four square uh, just to have a spare in case I mess up. Since this was a 12 by 12 piece, I now have four three by three squares. So these will be what I do to create the, ta the uh, towers. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my skewers and get to working on the structure of these. One second. Now when it comes to the skewers, you know, you want to try to cut them similar in length, but they don't have to be exact because obviously you want you want them to look imperfect. But you don't want to be too big of a variation. But definitely use the same size diameter uh, for them. Now I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm going to need 12 of these. So I'm just going to use this as a guideline. And um, I want the tower to go up and then have a standing area on top. I don't want to make it too tall though. So I think I'm going to stay with this and just assume a little bit taller. So I'm going to cut these at about that. So you can kind of see it's going to be, this will be the top level here, but I want there to be, actually it'd be like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'll be good right there. All right, so just mark with my finger use my old clippers that I don't care about. Now I have one, so I'm just gonna cut a bunch of these. And one, and again, just don't, don't try to be exact, just eyeball it, okay? Um, let there be a little imperfection in your, in your cuts. But go ahead and cut all 12 now. If you're gonna, if you're gonna duplicate this, go ahead and cut 12. And save the uh, save the pieces that no longer have the pointy end. You'll use those later. Keep wearing my eye shields. Whenever I'm using these, things tend to go flying. So I want to make sure I don't get something to go flying in my eye. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I need four more. One, two, three, four. You'll want to go ahead and get your hot glue gun warmed up. Um, you could use tacky glue, I guess, or some other type of adhesive, not white glue. But uh, when you're working with these towers, you really need the glue to set up fast. Uh, so that you don't have to hold anything and the only thing I've really found that works is the hot glue and uh, the hot glue will leave over time it will leave a lot of stringing but you can you can use a hair dryer to uh, 
to reduce that. All right, so I have 12 of these, and I'm gonna make the first one here, and just keep in mind, I'm gonna probably edit this video so you're only gonna see one built, but the other two will be built identically. So the, the towers, you know, you don't, you don't necessarily have to have them straight up 90 degrees. You can, you can play with this. So just put a good bit of glue on the end, put it in place, and you're gonna try to be consistent with the placement on all of them, just so they have the same height, same rough you know, width and length. If there's too much variation, it'll just look weird. You do want the goblins to look like they at least have some sort of plan. Um, you know, the general would never allow the tower on one side to be much bigger than the one on the right because it would look imbalanced. And we all know that goblins, they, are, they have an eye for balance. They may not have an eye for architecture, but they know when something doesn't look right. Now, you can, you can let these go out or you can let them come in. I tend to try to keep them straight up, but not perfect. If one's going out, make sure another one's coming in. That will, that will give you a lean effect that you'll be able to see with your human eye when it's, when it's all said and done. Um, the, uh, the imperfection of a leaning stick uh, is hard to see by itself, but once you start putting boards and stuff on there, it will become very apparent. Now, I'm intentionally leaning this one sort of this way. And it's nice and cool down in my basement right now, so the hot glue is setting up pretty quick. So this shouldn't take too, too long. Well, obviously, it's not ready yet. You just want it to be cooled down enough that it stands in place like that. There we go. It's still leaning, so let me just hold it a few more seconds. Some people will give this a blast of, of air from like those dust cans for, dust drink, for uh, removing dust, but eh, just... Wait a few seconds. And if you're really dexterous or have a lot of practice in this, you can do things like this. You can hold one with your pinky, <laughs> put glue on another one, and then apply it and do two at, two at a time. That's the advanced skill there, but you'll probably be able to do it. All right, just holding these up. And again, what I'm making here is the structure of the tower. Not, I'm not adding the planks for a while. I'm just going to create the wall structure, the bones, I guess you'd say. Um, and then I'll make the levels, like the floor levels. If it's still leaning, the glue is hot, but if it's if you can hold it in place and let go and it stays, the glue is tacked. That's pretty good. Five more seconds and it'll be good. Perfect. All right, so um, let me spin this for you so you can see that it is, well, that one's still going. Come on. There we go. All right. Can you see there's some imperfection here? This one's still leaning. Everything is leaning. Uh, these two are leaning bad, but that's okay. They're, there's, they're not straight up perpendicular, which is actually pretty good. Um, it's hard to tell in the video, but you just have to trust me. It's, they are definitely, <laughs> definitely not square. All right, let me break this off because it's going to annoy me. There we go. All right, that's one down. I'll do two more, and we'll come back and start working on the levels. All right, with the three bases now ready, you have those sticks left over, right? What we're going to do with these is we are going to glue them in various places. One, we're going to start at the bottom and go all the way around, okay? This will provide a place to glue the planks on the bottom, and then, of course, we'll have one higher, and that, that way the plank will go to that level. So what I need to do is um, cut these to size, and I'm going to cut one, and then I'll cut a whole bunch of them the same length. And it should be close, okay? You can see that these are a little too long right there. So I'm just going to trim this end off. I mean, you could just use that, but I, I've got to be careful because I don't want... 
I don't want uh, a stick sticking out too far and interfering with another piece of the structure. So I'm just gonna cut a bunch of these to length and I'm gonna need a bunch. So um, like that one's not too bad. That one's just a little bit longer, but close enough. And you can tell you're gonna need four for each level. So one, two, three, three times four. You'll need 12 for each one of the bases. And just so you know, these pieces right here were five and a half inches tall. That's point to bait to bottom. These pieces are approximately three inches. Not you know a little over, maybe just a little over, but approximately th approximately three inches. All right, just cut a bunch of them. Looks like I'm getting two per. I should have enough to do two or three of these without issue. But again, I'm going to do one on the video and then I'll go and do the other two off video. Otherwise, this will take truly forever. All right, I don't know how many I have, but I've got a bunch. So let me go ahead and start doing this. So what I want to do here is I'm going to I'm going to put a dab of glue on the bottom and on the bottom here, and I'm just going to lay it across there so that there's a little extended beyond each pole. See that? Now here's the thing: flip it all the way over 180 degrees and do the back one. All right. Make it approximately the same height as the one in front of it, and I'll show you why. So stick that one down, okay. So now I've got the one on this side and the one on this side. The reason you want to do them in mirror like that is if you, if you, it basically comes to staggering. This one is either going to go above or below that one, right? So let's say you did it above. Well, if you didn't notice and you went and did this one above that one, you're going to end up with, <laughs> you, these are going to get progressively higher. So you want to try to keep them as low as possible. So that's why I do two mirrored, and then I'm going to put this one on top. What it means is there'll be a slightly bigger gap down here, but you can cover that by cutting your chipboard longer, or you can just leave it exposed. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever looks good to you. And I will make that decision on the fly. So I haven't decided. The other thing I did was I put the glue and then I push this to where it's resting on top of the two that I just previously glued. Don't leave a gap in there. It's mainly for just looks, but it will also come into play once you start placing all the planks, you know, the wooden sides. Um, you want it to, you want there to be something to glue to, but you also want it to be somewhat level. All right, there we go. So there's one done, at least for the base. Now, levels. For the, for the tower, there's really no reason for there to be a second floor. There, there's really, this is the ground floor, second floor, third floor, right? First floor, second floor, third floor. The third floor is where the goblins will be firing out arrows. The second floor will not be visible, but you still need something there to glue the planks to, otherwise you're going to end up with these really long planks, and just trust me, that doesn't look good. You want these short planks. Just imagine if that plank went from here all the way down there. It's a long plank, and it just wouldn't look as good as breaking it up. So I'm just going to eyeball this, and I'm going to glue the second level. I'm, I'm trying to mimic this, so you can kind of see. You know what? I'll split the difference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the third level first. And I'm going to glue it right there and right there. All right. And you can put it on there and then set it down and make sure that you're happy with it. It's not quite level, but you can you can level it with your with your eyes. I'm so this is definitely leaning. Can you see the lean to it? <laughs> it's leaning that way, but this is level with the ground. Okay. Uh, and it's really when it's on the desk, it's really apparent. At least in the video, I don't know if you can, but this this tower is actually leaning that way, which is a good thing. You want that. All right. 
So now what I'm going to do is eyeball this again and flip it over. Remember, do the mirror side. I'm going to put some more glue on here and try to make this piece the same height. Do it by eyesight. Don't use your ruler. And I'm telling you the reason. The, if you use the ruler, you're going to end up with a goblin tower that looks too perfect. Just trust your eyes. Your eyes will still make mistakes occasionally, but like for instance, these two are probably level, but not exactly. So when I put the floor down, the floor might have a slight bevel, you know, like angle to it. The human eye will see that, and but it won't look too terribly wrong. It'll look definitely like a goblin designed it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue the next ones on top of these, remember? So just put a dab of glue here and here, and then right, layer one across there like that. Flip it over. Do the do the uh, do the mirror side. There we go. And all this stringing, if you can see it in the video, there's a lot of stringing. Don't worry about that. We're going to hit this with a hot glue gun or hot air, uh, not hot glue gun, hot air gun, and it will cause those to shrivel up into little teeny tiny balls and you won't see them. Uh, you'll want to do that frequently or you're, by the time you're done, you'll end up with this just uh, so much uh, hot glue string, it won't be funny. All right, so this level is done. So I'm just going to split the difference. I'm just going to try to glue this one in the center. Now the center one, you don't have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, I am going to intentionally glue it off, off center and it will be visible. See that? See how it's skewed? That is a good thing for the goblin. I mean, don't make it too skewed play with it a little bit, but a little a little off like that is not a bad thing. Do the same thing. Go around to the flip side. Uh, try to eyeball it as best you can, but make a mistake. You know, try to try to make it look imperfect. I'm actually taking this one and going the opposite direction. See that? Versus that one. Actually they're going in the same <laughs> well mirror side is going this way. This one's pointing up that way. This one's pointing up this way. So there we go, and then glue the side pieces. Now the other thing that this process does for you is every time you glue a cross beam, you're strengthening this so that it's going to hold up to all the handling you're going to give it when you're gluing all of those uh, planks on. All right, there we go. All right, can you, can you see it? It's not perfect at all. If it were perfect, it's not suitable for a piece of goblin terrain. There is enough wonkiness angles to this that this is perfect what I was going for. Now what I'm going to do is do two more of these and we'll come back when these are done. All right, this is probably a good point to show you the stringing and the uh, hot air gun. Can you see all that glue? Oh, see all the webbing in there? Okay, normally it wouldn't matter. You're going to cover it up with uh, strands, but eventually this is going to get out of hand. So here's what I usually do. I usually take my finger and just break up the strands as best I can, like that. Take a hot, take a uh, hot air gun, plug it in, and then you want to hit it with a hot air gun, but not enough to melt that glue. So be real quick about it. So just go. If you hit it just right, the strands will shrink up. Just keep moving. Don't, don't stop on any one place. Anywhere you see a strand, just hit it with a little hot air. And it will disappear. See that? What it does, it just causes the glue to sort of, it just curls up and gets in the corners out of the way. And it's just less likely to interfere with your work. So there you go. Hot air gun, getting rid of glue wisps. I hope you'll forgive me for a very short advertisement here. For the last year, I've been publishing Bexham's Bizarre Gaming Magazine. Each month, a new issue has been released with articles and adventures and other resources. The magazine has been evolving and improving, and I've been very fortunate to have a lot of contributors submitting their content. If you'd like to grab a free issue, check out the description in the video below for a link. And if you'd like to subscribe, there is also information on that as well.